Jim from Advanced Performance Shooting again. And in preparation for a class that I'm getting ready to take, I ran across the pistol IQ standards. I'd read it before, I'd seen it before, but I never paid a lot of attention to it. But, but Riley Bowman has developed the pistol IQ standards. Uh, you can check it out at learntrainshoot.com. It's an awesome exercise, a 25 round exercise that you, that when I first looked at the score sheet, I was like, holy crap, and tried to read the target setup. I was like, oh my God, I'll never be able to, that, that's, it's too much. Once I set it up and looked at it, it's, it's pretty easy to understand. And there's a couple of videos out there. Riley Bowman's got an excellent video uh, on the Pistol IQ Standards page, again, at learntrainshoot.com. Uh, once you figure out how to set it up and once you figure out how to score it, it's, it's a simple 25-round exercise that is worth its weight in gold, in my opinion. First string is a five round string with a five second part time. He calls it the half test. Shot at 10 yards on a B8 replacement center, and it's all about points. How many points can you get in that five second part time? For this string, you use the scoring rings on the B8 to calculate a total number of points. There's 50 points possible. Add that up, divide it by two, round up to the nearest whole number. So I dropped one point into the nine ring. So 24.5, round it up to 25 Post String points. number two, a presentation, two shots into an A zone. So two A zone hits, so a total of 10 points. I did it in 1.76 seconds, I'm shooting it from concealment. So I get to subtract a 0.25 for my presentation. The next string is the recoil standards. Presentation, six shots, again we're at seven yards, into an A zone of the target. So I shot the recoil standards in 2.52 seconds. Again, I get to subtract a .25 because I'm doing it from concealment. Uh, and I dropped one of the shots into the C zone. That shot doesn't count. Line breaks count. So, of the 30 points possible, I collected 25. The fourth string, the fourth course of fire inside the pistol IQ standards, is a transition. You can have two A zone targets set, two IPSC targets set edge to edge. You could have the A zones that are available at concealedcarry.com. As long as they're 10 inches apart, they meet the standard for this exercise. A presentation, two shots to one A zone, two shots to the other A zone, and two shots back to the original. A zone. So for the transition string in 2.77 seconds after I subtract the 0.25, I collected all of the 30 points that are available. Final string is the throttle standards. On one target, we've got a 3x5 card, an A zone, and a business card. The business cards and a 3x5 are centered over the D in the D zone of the target, and the A zone is what it is. You can shoot those three targets in any order, two shots each, and those each score, as long as they're on the scorable area, five points apiece. And again, we're at seven yards. So for the throttle standards string, a shot, after we do the math, 3.96, got all my hits. And then we can do the hit factor calculations for the last four Strength. So the information sheet, the score sheet, has all the math laid out. Uh, it looks very, very difficult to understand, but it's not hard. We're doing hit factor scoring, so points divided by time. We're going to add up all of those points, do a little bit of mathematical wizardry that I suck at. I'm horrible at math. Uh, make no bones about it. I shot this uh, several times yesterday, calculated the math wrong, and thought, holy shit, I'm a rock star. Yeah, once I did the math right, I figured out I'm just a normal shooter that's addicted to training. I calculate everything from today, and I scored an abysmal 118. I think 144 is the Grandmaster standard. But it, it's such an excellent 25-round exercise. There's so much data to be collected. I know exactly what I need to work on and when I need to work on that. 
to improve upon those skills represented in this exercise. If you're keeping a workbook like you ought to be, if you're trying to raise your individual standard, if you're trying, if you're really working at that self-improvement, you should be keeping a workbook. This is an excellent exercise with all kinds of data that are, that's available to you between splits, the transitions, the different size targets. There's so much information. I shot it the second time. I knew that the time was what was the problem. It wasn't so much the accuracy side. It was the time I needed to pick up the speed and it calculated a whole bunch different a 134 with my everyday carry gun uh, on the on the second iteration and we've still only expended 50 rounds in what started out a 150 round practice session I could fix any misses outside and continue to work on that negative target and continue to collect that I think the the pistol IQ standards really kind of knocks it out of the park as far as a as a worthwhile easy to set up easy to do the math after you after you figure it out if you're if you're shitty at math like me it took me a second but once you figure the math out holy crap the information is just continued to work on the speed brought my score up to a 143 and i think that it, it it shows you how important the speed side of this is you only have effectively the rest of your life to get the shot that counts in that deadly force encounter so I think this is an, a great example of a drill where you could practice the drill and you're also practicing skills at the exact same time. If you're dropping points, don't slow down to get your hit. If, be more accurate. Be more accurate at that speed. If you can miss it that fast, you can hit it that fast. I think this is an excellent exercise. Check it out at learntrainshoot.com. So I wasn't a hundred percent sure that I was going to turn the pistol IQ standards into the one of a hundred concealed carry group standards training drill of the week. Uh, so I came out with the intent of shooting that exercise six times. I ended up only shooting at five mistakes I made, had to, had to go back and reshoot something here and there. So I only got to shoot it five times, but it, it's such a, uh, it, it's such a good exercise. I collected so much data. I learned so much about that particular exercise as it relates or as my skills relate to that exercise and of the five runs I only scored above 144 uh, one time uh, but I learned a lot about how I shoot how I can shoot better and it's excellent data to put into your workbook if you're trying to improve your own performance